Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leos! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy. You're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please.
Once you claim the Light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. Over here. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. It's life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now pull the realm travel bridge will align and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. 
follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get your back. not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? You killed it. Look up there. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Here, boy. Yes, sir. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. Murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Dark out, watch him! attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? <laughs> yeah! Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Translate those moose behind moons. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, was that Sindri?
Let's get to it. Hey, well, I probably shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean? was there? How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. It may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri? Have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. 
But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look! Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. It's 
sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. There's something down there. What else were you going to tell me about war? You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory.
blue door. That's got to be the entrance. Let's go. Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is on. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Come on! Come on! Combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Father! The pillars and ring form an elvish room! What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Oh. 
father? Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. It looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? Atreus, to me. Side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. <laughs>
You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than any. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. 
Okay. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right.
you brought the main bridge back. We must find a way up. One more for the collection. The light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. Look! The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. Whoa! <laughs> 